So there's the Fightonomics up on your screen now. The only number there you need to know about really is that 38 playing 31. Scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Contested at lightweight, 70 kilograms. That's 155 pounds. Hey. Referee, Mr. Thomas Bronda. And right off the bat, Redmond takes center ring. Smart. He would want to stay off the wire, because that's where Klavitsky will really try to frustrate him. Klavitsky backs up. Looks to try to bait Redmond inside. Redmond disengages. Really, really smart. Sort of stand up fighting for MMA because you're not just thinking about the kickboxing, you're also considering what happens when you tie up. Redmond, classic boxer. You can see the boxing skills just coming to the fore there. This is a kid that went to boxing gym when he was seven. You've got to see it. Klevitsky, well, a judo practitioner, he's a black belt. He is the ground meister here. But uh, this is a tough outing for both fighters. And I think Klevitsky doesn't like the stand-up skills when fighters dominate like this. Takes a big right hand through the middle there, but he is so slippery. You don't get to stay this long in the game like Klevitsky has by being a mug, and he is certainly not that. Klevitsky looking to try and work in, but it's tough because Redman is punishing him for his inactivity. If Redman can get him to freeze, that's when he'll really start to go beyond that jab. So thunderous low side kick into Klevitsky from Redman. Does it again on the inside. Great stand-up skills, Redman. You can see the boxing, the kickboxing. We haven't seen the grappling, but Klevitsky replies, and he says, take that home with you. I can do that too. And look at that. He forces Redmond into error. And that's got to boost the confidence of Klevitsky. Redmond pawing. Showing that jab, but it's going to look to line up the backhand or swap up to a left hook. Good hook to the body. Comes upstairs with the left hand, Klevitsky. He's saying, I can box too. And uh, Thomas Bronder is the one that's really on his toes here tonight. Had to clear the ring area there as these two came thundering in. Do you know what I've noticed tonight, Chris? Something quite amazing. We've got great grapplers. We've got great jiu-jitsu experts. We've seen some great stand-up. And uh, Thomas Bronder has to intervene here. And this could be a problem. I think it's a thumb in the eye. Open palm. Yeah, not, you know, at all a foul where Paul was trying to actually protrude that. Of course, with these four-ounce gloves, you have an open hand, so the finger can become a factor. Klevitsky says it's all good, though. He actually really wasn't even looking for a break there. Well, Klevitsky straight back to the action, takes a little short left hook on the way. Just look at the boxing skills of Redmond. I mean, this is incredible. He's really up the ante here now, and we're seeing a change of dynamics. Redmond looking to maybe finish this with the boxing. This fight was always going to be about pressure, and who can control that outer two-thirds of the ring? Redmond kind of circles on that imaginary line, boxes in Klevitsky. This is exactly what Klevitsky would like to do to him, but Redmond hasn't allowed him that chance yet. Well, this is a gradual and methodical discombobulation of Klevitsky with stand-up skills before Redmond takes him to the mat. I have to say, Klevitsky is putting on such an incredible display here of evasive and boxing skills. Great check there from Klevitsky. And a one, two, three from Klevitsky. Redmond backs off, though, very educated. And that oh, was what Sasha wanted. Take. That's exactly what he was looking for. Double leg, and the crowd goes wild. Little bit of blood just on the forehead there of Klevitsky, but he got what he wanted. He took the stand up, but now he's on the ground, and this is his office. And this is definitely a case of, won't you come into my parlor, send the spider to the fly. Redmond going for that leg lock. That's exactly how he finished his last fight against Roxy Force Sinclair. Very, very tricky leg locker. That knee caught Sasha. Klevitsky's backing off. He got ripped to the body there. Redmond sensing the finish. Yeah, Redmond now really starting to up the ante here. Klevitsky in a little bit of trouble. We're up under one minute left, so there's still time.
trying to do some damage, and Redmond headhunting, chasing to try and get this done. I would describe this round as intense. That would be the best way to describe it, because both guys have been really trying to load up and search that early path. You're exactly right, Chris. And to paraphrase a well-worn sentiment, it's getting emotional. Just look at this. Redmond, he's like a machine when he goes on the march. There's the shoot again from Klimitschke, but to no avail, and he takes the knee strike up the middle for his trouble. Redmond in absolute control here with that left jab. He's got the height advantage, he's got the reach advantage, and he's really making Klevitsky suffer. Klevitsky, you've got to be able to put this man away. Look at that big right hand he lands there, Redmond. Anyone else would have gone down. These are big shots now coming from the Irishman. That's the bell. Team Ryano was calling for Redzer to just settle down. Continue to fight at his pace, don't try to rush it. They feel the finish will come with time. So more of the same. I don't speak Polish, but I'm curious to see what Klevitsky's going to come up with. Well, it looks like Klevitsky's got to close the distance because the range of Redmond is superior. He's going to come straight through the middle. We can see that now. And he's going to start firing up, putting pressure on Redmond by coming up inside and under the guard. But you see, Redmond's a boxer. Look at the, look at the stance, the shoulders, tucking his jaw in. But look at Klevitsky. Klevitsky drops the low kick in. Klevitsky's a bag of tricks. You've got to put this man away and do it properly. Redmond hasn't done it yet. That's a great lead left Redmond has. Spinning back fist. Klevitsky's all over this. It's textbook stuff. Good connections again from Redmond, but this is the more patient approach that his corner wanted. They said, keep it methodical. You're boxing him in effectively. Just don't go in too far. Don't overcommit and get caught out of position. Because Klevitsky's dangerous. Klevitsky's stand-up game has improved tremendously. Just look at the way he works himself inside and lands the shot. But just Redmond has that boxing prowess just enough to keep his man away. This is great stuff. I mean, you couldn't get value like this in a boxing match. It's the best version of Paul Redmond I've ever seen as far as his hands are. But the same can be said of Sasha Klevitsky as well. We've never seen him kickbox as well on his feet, Will. Klevitsky's on fire here tonight. I've never seen the stand-up skills like this from this fighter. He's a judo black belt. He hates it when he has to go in against a striker. Look at him giving as good as he gets, getting the high kick up. Redmond did bank on this. You look at every tail of the tape of Klevitsky, and none of this appears there. I gotta say, Will, you're probably a real fan of the short man taking on the taller. Hey, listen. Good things come in little bundles. And Klevitsky, he's never gonna fight a guy that's shorter than him, is he? So he knows what to do. Oh, classic left-right combination. They're really throwing it in here. And I have to say, Klevitsky's now starting to take heat. Great connections here. This is that midway point of the round that you often look for. A fighter to turn up the heat. He's listening to his corner here. Oh, this is fantastic from Klevitsky. It really is. He's really coming into his own. Look at this. It's amazing. The left, the right, follows it in with the kick. Redmond now replies. But Klevitsky's waiting for the overhand right. Oh, these guys are putting heat on these shots. In goes the low kick there from Redmond. You couldn't get this value out of a boxing match of 10 rounds, Chris Hoopster, the guru. Redmond continues to plot onwards, but Sasha Klevitsky is making it a dog fight, and I love the fact that he's throwing in the kicks. Redmond hasn't really tried to take him down yet because he commands that reach advantage. There, he thought about it there. Redmond's gonna maybe try and capture that takedown and steal this round back. Well, you can only go to the well so many times, and Klevitsky at 30 years, 38 years of age, has got to be on his back and pedaling because Redmond is coming for him. And I have to say that, you know, if the cardio of Klevitsky can stay, Redmond now has got a fight on his hands. Body shot there from Redmond, ripping to the breadbasket. The body work would be smart. Klevitsky's been really mobile. I've never seen Klevitsky in this kind of shape. I mean, usually you see a pace of the grappling from him, but on the feet, he's covered more real estate than a multi-billionaire from Florida. Do you know what? Do you know what Klevitsky's doing here? Morishanu, Katalin Morishanu. Look at the overhand right. He's got that big right bomb waiting there. Katalin Morishanu. Oh, but left right goes to the head. Takes a good boxing of the ear from Redmond. 
Beautiful check hook there. Levitsky got locked. Goes for the bolo punch. Can't quite get it. The crowd going absolutely crazy here. Naughty Naughty. Cage grab there from Levitsky. He's holding on a couple of times. He's still got his hand on it. That was really bad. Tomas Brunder couldn't quite see it because we had the angle on our monitor. I think he's still holding on to it well. Yeah, he is. He's let go now. Very difficult to enforce when you don't have the vantage angle. We got a camera right there for us. So huge right hand there from Redmond. Well, 10 second clap has gone here. This is full fat fury as Klevitsky is giving as good as he gets. And Redmond is saying, come on, bring it on, takes on. Paul Redser Redmond, the third and final round. At 38 years of age, giving away at height advantage to a boxer and a striker. You'd have said that Klevitsky didn't stand a chance, but you're looking at a man that's brought the action all the way. He's given as good as he's got. He's given more. And Redmond now doesn't know what to do. He's relying on that classic boxing pose. He's looking to do some work, some magic. But it, tonight, Klevitsky's the one that's brought the magic. Gonna be tough to take Sasha down. He's a great wrestler. Ooh, lazy single kick there. Back take on tap from Redmond. Can he convert? Double body lock, tries to get the foot sweep. Klevitsky holding on to the wire here. Great escape for Sasha. Well, this has been full throttle the whole way. In this third and final round, some big shots that have had heat on them. Look at that overhand right there from Redmond. But like I said to you, He's got a strategy here, Klevitsky. Look at the overhand right, I told you. Katalin Morishanu. That's how a little guy gets in there. Up goes the high kick. Miwashi Geri, Jodan. Oh, look at the judo fighter bring this to the stand-up. Redzer, I like the shifting kicks when he actually steps outside and kicks across the leg, digs in, real prototypical Muay Thai. But there was Kyokushin there from Klevitsky. I mean, Redmond is as tight as two coats of paint. Look at the chin. The chin is just in the hands. I mean, you'd need a safe breaker to get inside to Redmond. And Klevitsky is all over him. He's mauling him like a little puppy with a rubber ball. Redmond doesn't have an answer here. This is for small guys everywhere, if you're watching. This is martial arts. This is what it's about. This is about skill. It's about heart. Double jab there to an outside kick. Redmond's got to continue to mix up the combinations and keep Lukasz Klevitsky guessing. Big right hand there again, there he goes! Oh, Klevitsky's got this nailed down again, he tries to land it. This is sensational stuff. Klevitsky's really bored in here, and it's Redmond now that's starting to blow. 31 years of age, Paul Redmond, and now he's on his bike. 38 years of age, Klevitsky, and he's sending that message home. Yes, Superman punch, he didn't land it, but oh, it's elegance itself. Klevitsky can really do nothing wrong, and what a Cinderella story of a third round for him here. The fans cheering every single time he commits. Redzer's got to dig deep, though. You know, your midway point, third and final round, probably one apiece at this point. Stiff jab there from Revan. He's got to get back to commanding that reach of control and not telegraphing that takedown from far out and wide. Nobody wants to go to the ground. You could go to a championship boxing match and not see work of this standard. This is unbelievable. That's your ticket money right there. We could stop now and go home. This is full fat action. Oh, the crowd here. Absolutely uproarious in their appreciation. Look at the noise that the three stadium is making. It's sensational here for these two fighters. Well, tonight you talked about dirty boxing. This is dirty dancing. This is a brutal tango. It really is tantalizing as Klevinsky brings it and he gives it his own, Chris. Sasha now really trying to turn things back on, but Redmond maintaining distance on his terms. There's the old saying, Will, in combat sports, champions do not accept return fire. Redmond has got to be in and then out, operating, leading with that jab. Double jab, I think, has been effective. But he's starting to really lose the octane here. This could come down to the cardio. Klevitsky, if you squint your eyes, he looks like smoking Joe Frazier. 
I mean, he's just moving. Just look at him get on the inside. He takes the shot, but look, he's looking to land, and he does it. And Redmond now is the one that's on the back foot. The first two rounds, Klevitsky was round the outside of that ring like a merry-go-round. It's Redmond now that's at the fun fair, and he's starting to blow. Redzer inside low kick, looking to try and get that power punching game. And the double leg, charging all the way across the ring and dumps Klevitsky down. Back take here for Redmond. Well, he went for it, didn't he, Redmond? Tried to get round there with the arm in for the choke. Couldn't quite do it. You've got to work very hard to try and top out Klevitsky. This is escapology. It's incredible. And I'll tell you now, it's the clock that's against them. Redmond did very well there to try to actually sweep the back foot out and destabilize Klevitsky and expose that submission attempt. But the pure dynamite explosivity of Vukash Klevitsky has been absolutely mind-bending as he presses a takedown of his own. Look at that shoot! He dived across, and that's the bell! For the winner, Retzer! Oh!